In this demonstration video, we will be adding the picture of a winner, of the monthly winner, into the commuter calendar page, which is this page. Um, and we'll be adding it right here. We'll put her March winner in her picture here. And we'll also be adding her uh, announcement to the Seward Montessori About page. Now, just to give you an idea, the About page is the landing page that you can go to learn about the system, to log into your account, and to register tags. So you don't have to have a, a live account to visit the About page, and, but you do have to have a live account to be in this page here. So uh, I use the About page as the landing page, the main landing page for the whole Seward Montessori Bike to School program. And that can all be managed from the dashboard of the uh, the Darrow's app system. So what we'll be doing is we'll be uploading her picture into the system. We'll be cropping and resizing her photo to make sure it works. And then we'll be posting it into both the commuter calendar page and the about page. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get her picture into the file manager so that we can actually start putting it into the different pages. So what I did is I just went to school, I took a picture with her parents' permission um, of her and I was with, my, with my iPhone and uh, I um, put it onto my SkyDrive on my personal computer. And the reason I use a SkyDrive is because I can access that anywhere. And here is my file manager. Now notice I have a folder set up for winners. So I go here to upload her file, the blue arrow, go to SkyDrive, it's right there. And I, there she is. Okay, so now her picture is into the system, but let's take a look how big it is. It usually is larger than what you want. Yes, so that is too big. So let's edit that picture so that we can uh, uh, make it work better with our, with our um, pages. So I think it's too big, so let's make it about half the size. And this will constrain both proportions, so I'm just gonna make it 200. And then let's also crop it a little bit. So you just click on the crop th there, and then you move it to where you want it. So generally it works best when you just have a square square photo, but you can make it any size you want or any dimension. Okay, let's apply it to it. Let's take a look at it again. I think that looks a little better, but we might even want it a little smaller. Let's make it 200. All right, you can also rotate it as well. So if it's flipped the wrong direction. I think that's about perfect. So now we have the photo that's ready in the system. Now let's go back and figure out where we're gonna put it. So the way you do that is now we have it into, in the file manager, let's go uh, back to the dashboard and I'm gonna show you where I wanna put it. Now when you do this, it's always helpful to actually have uh, two screens up so you can you can change it in the content manager and then also see what it appears like without having to always open and reclose it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and make a duplicate. Now this is just in uh, I'm, I'm using uh, Google Chrome. You just right click on the, on the Google Chrome uh, tab and then cl click on duplicate so you have two screens of the same thing. So if you want to see what it's going to look like in the commuter dashboard or the commuter calendar, uh, you don't automatically get that screen because you're the administrator. So you have to go into uh, into a, a, a individual's account and uh, click on their calendar page. And this is what a commuter sees. 
and this is called the commuter box and we want to put it right here now the commuter box actually has three different segments so you can put three pieces of content there and what I would generally do is put one box or one one area here reserved for winners one reserved for sponsors and one reserved for prizes so what you can do is you don't have to use in this case I'm only using one of them and it and it centers it but now I'm going to be using this one for winners and it will uh, it'll push this over to this, the the right but it will uh, space them so they don't look strange okay so let's go back to our dashboard and which is the tab other tab that I had opened before and we have to go into settings manage content and this is where you manage your content and you can see uh, there's the about page which we'll do um, next um, there's the alert and the alert is this box right here and here's the computer boxes that we want and there's the footer content and the footer content is this uh, this this information that runs on the bottom of all of your pages and then prize pool that is information that you have regarding um, like what you need to do to win a prize and that appears on the prize page so the prize pool there that is uh, the content manager prize pool so what we'll be doing is we'll be adding another commuter box because right now um, the sponsors now we don't want to we don't want to edit the sponsors because it is uh, we want to keep that there so we want to do another box so we'll call this winners and it's going to be uh, the content we want to edit is the uh, the the commuter boxes so you see it says up to three of these for commuter calendar page and then you can just the a date to display it so let's display it um, well we can uh, like for prizes if you want them to be displayed from April 1st to April 30th and then a new set of prizes to be displayed um, from May 1st you can do that but in this case I'm going to start displaying it on I'll say yesterday to be safe and then we'll display it until we award the new winner which will probably be May 1st so Madeline's picture will appear oops I did both okay so we'll say from yesterday done until May 2nd done okay and so that means that this content will display for um, for the month of April okay so what I want to do here is I want to put in what I my message um, March winner or March top writer Madeline Kabrick and then I want to put in a picture so you go here into insert edit image and it tell, asks you where you want it and we want it in the winners that's it defaults to where you were last and in the description March winner although this information won't appear insert okay then you hit save all right let's make this a little bigger let's make it 12 and maybe we'll make it a different color let's make it red hit continue okay so now you see we have two commuter boxes it's content in here okay and you can see it's active for these dates now let's go back to the commuter calendar and that's why it's important to have two of these pages set up so you can see actually what it looks like so you can go back because you will have to fiddle with this quite a bit okay so I still think that the image is a little bit big so let's size it down somewhat and then let's make the the text a little larger so go back to manage content you have to click on the edit Click on the edit, make it smaller, and let's go 14, and let's make it bold. Save, continue, 
Now let's go back here and reload. See what it looks like. Okay, I think that looks a little better. Um, let's make it a little bit smaller. So what you'll find is that you're going to be having to fine tune it quite a bit to get the right look. Because sometimes, whoops, okay, so you see there is the Alina um, or the, our sponsor information. I accidentally clicked on the wrong one. Continue. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, I think that looks okay. If we wanted to, we can make these a little bigger too. Actually, let's do that so that it looks a little more uniform. Reload it, and there we go. Okay, so now um, we can. We, now we've done the the commuter boxes. Now let's go up and actually do the landing page. Now this is the main Daryl landing page, which which is the about page. So let's quick go to. I'm going to show you. Let's go and open up the new page. Now the way I have it set up is I the 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 mascot for the school are sharks, They're the Seward Sharks. So I uh, d uh, reserved a domain name called bikesharks.com and then I just redirect it. It costs about $10 a year and then you just redirect it to the Darrow Zap About page. Um, and then the Darrow Zap About page will um, is, is uh, the content you can edit inside the inside the, the uh, Zap program. So as you see here, uh, this is the landing page for bikesharks.com. It redirects about. And from here, users can either log into their account and or they can register. And uh, right now what I'm going to do is I, I want to put Madeline's picture and announcement right here. So let's go back and, and do that. So we go here to the about page content. Now this is what we're going to be editing it. So we just want to click on here to edit it and click on there. If you don't want to look at the HTML code, you can do right here. And let's put it right here. So congratulations to Madeline Kabrick, our March top writer. Okay, let's make it big and bold, and let's make it red. Okay, and let's insert her picture. So you go here into insert edit image, and it should default back to the, the place I was last, which is in here. Image description, March winner, Madeline Kabrick. Insert, save, continue. Now let's see what that looks like. Go back to their tab here, reload it. Okay, it doesn't look bad. So what we wanna do is we wanna clean up uh, this a little bit so that this moves back on top here. So go back to manage content. And this will take some playing around to do. But generally we added uh, several lines in there. So let's take out se several lines and then 
maybe it will align itself back to where it should have been. Save it, continue. And now we go back to the about page, reload it and see what it looks like. And that looks good to me. So now we have uh, her picture and information on the about page. And we also have the information on the commuter calendar or her, her picture. And that is how you add pictures to the different uh, uh, content and content to the different pages.